Hi Aries, I'm Sade from Blue Alley's Tarot. I'm here to do your uh, December love reading. We're going to take a look at what's going on in your connection, how you're feeling, how your person's feeling, uh, the likely outcome for the month. We'll pull some oracle messages to see what they have to say. Keep in mind that the roles can be reversed, so this may be what you want to say to them as well. Uh, please like, share, and subscribe to the video. Keep in mind that it's just a general reading, so it may not resonate with everyone. If it does not resonate, please check your moon arising. Also, um, please comment below and let me know if this is your story or not. And let's go ahead and get started. Spirit, what messages do you have for Aries for the month of December? What messages do you have for Aries for the month of December? Okay, so it says, I wonder if you are happy without me. So some of you may be in separation from your person. Then the next one says, I'm so attracted to you. So they um, may be physically attracted to you, mentally, emotionally. Um, then the last one says, so many things remind me of you. So maybe it could be songs, TV shows, restaurants, um, anything. But I feel like you're constantly on their mind. So let's go ahead and <clears throat> pull some tarot cards and see what's going on. Spirit, what messages do you have for Aries for the month of December? What messages do you have for Aries for the month of December? Please give clear, accurate messages. Okay, so you have the Four of Pentacles, the Two of Wands, and the Knight of Pentacles. Nine, I'm sorry, the Nine of Pentacles. Okay, with this Four of Pentacles, this is Capricorn energy. So you may be dealing with a Capricorn, or that could be your moon arising. Um, so I feel like in the past, your person may was holding back, like holding back their energy, and you felt that. Um, or this could be someone holding back resources. They may just just they may just be holding back from you all together. Doesn't necessarily have to be in love. Maybe it could be finances, something they were holding back, but I'm getting more of um, love because of the two of wands. So I feel like they were holding back their energy because this also represents someone who has more to give to a situation, but they don't. So more so like closed off energy. Now with the two of wands, this is Aries. So your person may be an Aries. Um, but this is my third party card. So this means someone is struggling to make a choice between two people. Um, and usually when this card comes out, I would just tell you to go ahead and tell your person to go be with uh, the third party because they may already be considering it. However, this also talks about expansion. Um, so one of you wanted to expand you know, your heart to this relationship, You, someone wanted more. But like I said, with the Four of Pentacles, someone was um, holding back, closing off their energy. Now, for career, this could mean that you're outgrowing um, something and you're ready for the next big thing. This is also associated with international travel. So you may be traveling abroad. Now, in... Um, So now right here in the recent past, you have the Nine of Pentacles. This is Virgo. Um, this represents entrepreneur, entrepreneurs or someone who is single, but they are now feeling like they may be ready for marriage. This could be like a bachelor or a bachelorette, but now they feel like, okay, I played so many games. I'm getting tired. These streets are yuck. I'm ready to settle down. So when someone feels the nine of pentacles for you, that just means that they think of you as marriage material. So even though they may have this third party and they know that they have to choose between you and someone else, 
they look at you like you're the perfect type for them. They look at you like, oh my God, I can marry this person. This is like literally my person. Um, but sometimes, you know, for some of you, you may see this a lot for divorces. So if you're wondering if we're going to get a divorce, yes, because this card is for a single person. So this is someone that, like I said, represents a bachelor or a bachelorette, but now they're having thoughts of, okay, you know, I'm tired of running the streets. Marriage isn't looking so bad right now. I know I have a good thing going. I know this is, excuse me, I know this is a good person. So let me see maybe what this could be. Um, and that's probably why they're saying, I wonder if you are happy without me because they're single and they wanted to live that single life. So let's clarify these cards to get more information. Spirit, can you clarify the four of pentacles for Aries? Why is the four of pentacles here? Spirit, can you clarify the two of wands? Why is the two of wands here? Clarify the nine of pentacles. Why is the nine of pentacles here, Spirit? What is the final likely outcome card for Aries and their person? Okay, Libra energy for your final li likely outcome card. So some of you may be dealing with a Libra. Um, so you have the higher font, the five of wands, the seven of swords, and the six of swords. Okay, with the higher font card, this is this represents Taurus energy. So this is someone who is very stubborn, pretty much stuck in their ways, um, very fixed. And as you may know, Taurus is a fixed sign. This is usually uh, someone that's in a position of power. They may be some type of leader. People may uh, follow their lead with a lot of things, whether they are a business owner, maybe they do spiritual work, or um, they're popular on social media, I'm not sure. This can also represent for some of you that you may be at your, the job that you're at, you may have been up there too long and it's time to let it go. Um, but as far as relationships, the higher front represents marriage and commitments. So when this card comes out, if you're going through something, then you can expect to um, move towards more calmer waters. So get on the same page, start to share the same value and goals, start to be in a more committed relationship. With the Five of Wands, this represents Leo energy. So your person may be a Leo or that could be your moon arising. But this does represent, and this, matter of fact, it clarifies the Two of Wands. So remember when I was saying that the Two of Wands represents third-party energy, um, a choice between two people. So with the Five of Wands, this represents someone dating multiple people. And they're probably dating multiple people because, you know, they are single. If they have that single energy, um, like what the Nine of Pentacles was saying. So when this comes out, um, normally if someone asks you they stay with their person, what I would normally say is go date other people. I'm not saying that you have to completely leave them alone, but you need to make them feel like they have competition so they can actually care about this connection because it seems like they take this connection for granted because they know that you love them. They know that you two may even possibly be soulmates. I'm not sure. So they think that you're not going anywhere. In their mind, they think that you're sitting home waiting by the phone for them to call or show up. So you need to show them that you have options like they have options. Because you see all these people um, right here kind of, this person is kind of blocking all these people off because there's so many options. So let them know that, you know, hey, I have options too. You can keep taking me for granted all you want, but I will move on to somebody else. Um, for career, this is healthy competition. So if you want, if you were trying to go out for a promotion, you're going to have to work for it. This also means, um, clients and appointments. So if you have a business, um, like say for example, I don't know, maybe if you were like a lash tech or wanted to become a lash tech, this would be the perfect time to do so because this means you have clients and appointments waiting on you. So whatever you're trying to do that will, um, getting you clients and appointments, do it because they're waiting on you. This is your confirmation right here, this card. This is a good card to have for business. Now, for the Seven of Swords, um, this is my Sneaky and Deception card. This also represents strategizing and detaching. So, when I get, so because of, you have the Two of Wands, that means a choice between people. 
two people. You had the five of wands, meaning, um, you know, also like a third party card as well. So, but what I'm getting from this, because of your final likely outcome card, which is the six of swords, I feel like your person is trying to detach from the third party. So in the past, they may have lied to you about being single um, when they really wasn't, they really had someone else. And I feel like you probably found out and that was, that caused the demise of this relationship. But now I feel like your person is trying to detach. They're, tr they're strategizing how to detach from that third party because they want to come towards you. Because with um, the Six of Swords, which is Libra energy, um, this basically means peaceful, peaceful energy, balance, moving from turbulence to positivity. So this could be someone leaving their wife or baby mother to go be with their person, which their person would be you. Or it don't have to be wife or baby mother. It could be husband or baby father, whatever. Take the roles however. Um, you can reverse them however you need to. Um, so this is also my reconciliation card. So this basically means that your person wants to come towards you in a more positive energy. They're tired of playing games because remember when I was saying with that nine of pentacles, they see you as marriage material. They, I just feel like they honestly... At, at reached a point in their life when they're like, you know what, I'm really sick of being in these streets. Um, I'm, I'm tired of, you know, dating multiple people and it, it just has no meaning to it. You give them meaning. You give them hope. I feel like they really love you and that's why they want to reconcile with you. They want to come back, but they have to figure out how to detach from that third party and that's why they're strategizing doing that. But at the same time, also keep in mind that they are in this single energy. So like I was saying with the five of ones, until they get their shit together, date other people. Don't sit around waiting on them to, you know, figure out when or how or if they're going to leave that third party. No, do you. Because when they see you doing you, bossing up, focusing on your career, getting those clients and appointments, dating other people, they're going to know like either I got to get my shit together or my person is gone forever. So keep the same, sometimes you may have to just match their energy and that's just, you know, what it is at this point. So let's get some Oracle messages and see what else your person may have to say to you. Sir, what other messages do you have for Aries from their person? What other messages do you have for Aries from their person? messages do you have for Aries and their person? Okay, this says... I wish I could take back my words. So maybe your person says some hurtful things to you or it could be vice versa. Then it says, I feel you leaving me behind. What did I just say? You need to boss up on the ass. Start, you know, focusing on your business or your career. Start dating other people. Pull your energy back how they pull theirs back. And they feel that you are like almost there. So they feel you leaving them. And I think they're getting scared. That's why they're strategizing how to detach from that third party. Then it says, I lost myself for a little while. So I guess when they were out dating multiple people, you know, they wasn't too concerned with, you know, whether or not their actions were hurting you and hurting this connection. So now they feel like, okay, I got to get my shit together. I feel like they're at the point where they feel like they need a heal. Let's get a few more messages. Spirit, what messages do you have for Aries for the month of December? Oh, and um, one more thing, guys. I am running a promotion on personal readings for the month of December. 
uh, they will be 25% off. So you can click the link in the bio to book a reading if you like, or you can shoot me an email. Okay, so this says overwhelmed. The stress from this is draining me. So the fact that they feel like you may be the one now that's about to pull back your energy if you haven't already done so, and the fact that they're trying to um, detach from this third party, they're stressing the hell out. So it says conversation. I want to call in. I want to call you and hear your voice. So your person wants to talk to you. They they definitely miss you. Reminiscing. I miss error inside jokes. So yeah, they're basically telling you like they definitely definitely miss you. They want to come back home. So let's uh, close it out with some angel messages. Angels, what messages do you have for Aries for the month of December? What messages do you have for Aries for the month of December? Okay, so this says reconsider. Um, this could be one of two things. It could be telling you reconsider um, either staying and waiting for them to get their shit together or, you know, reconsider, like, basically reconsider what you want to do with whatever whatever thoughts you had, whether you want to walk away or stay, it's telling you reconsider um, what you want to do. And then this one says compromise. So in order for you two to be together, um, they it is going to take some compromise. You know what? Actually, for that reconsider, because that kind of had me stuck, and I don't know why. Um, I, I never really read from this book, but I want to see what they mean by reconsider. Give me one second, guys. So it says, there is an element of your plan that should be re-evaluated. Take some time to really go through your project or proposal thoroughly. Share your intentions with a trusted friend or advisor who can give you objective feedback. Ask your angels for guidance. This is not the moment to make the change in your life that you are considering. A better time will come or you'll realize that you wish to choose a different kind of transformation for yourself. So basically, before you make any heartfelt decision... They're saying reach out to a close friend um, or maybe a therapist or some type of advisor before you make a stern decision about this connection. Or that could be with business as well. So before you make any, whatever you're considering, talk to somebody first before making that decision. So, yeah, once again, you had compromise. Um, and it's crazy because this, to me, represents the Six of Swords because Six of Swords means balance is Libra energy. And you see how she has, she's balancing these two things right here, balancing the scale. Um, so, and that's my reconciliation card. So I feel like you two are going to reconcile and I feel like um, you two are both going to learn how to compromise with one another because then it says yes. So I do feel like this connection is going to go in your favor. Then it says improving health. So if you or your person had any health issues, they will be improving. Then it says big happy changes. Um, oh, and when I just looked at the time on um, the clock, it says 1222. So you got your angel numbers and we're doing angel message. So that could be a sign for you. But it says big happy changes. So I feel like there will be positive changes within this connection and you're going to be really happy about it i do feel like your person's going to work on themselves and come back in a more positive energy um so i hope that this helps aries once again please like share and subscribe comment below to let me know if this resonates and if you would like to book a reading please click the link in the description box below or shoot me an email that's also in the description box and i'll talk to you next week